Welcome back everybody to Classic Firearms. We are out here in Indianapolis for the NRA Annual Meet 2023. But even bigger than that, it's Matt's first time out. First time, everybody. First time. It's great to be here. <laughs> yeah, so we're pretty excited to be doing this. So let us know down in the comment section who are you excited to see. Different manufacturers have been reveal, revealing a couple of different things. <laughs> like um, Henry just dropped the new, uh, there's a uh, revolver mm -hmm. that they're dropping. So that's pretty exciting. So. And I know you're excited about the uh, SAR. Right. Yeah, the uh, SAR's got the uh, Gen 2 subcompact. I want to see that. And they also just released the SOCOM too, right? That's right, yeah. the law enforcement. Thanks for reminding me, the law enforcement version of SOCOM. So we're going to check that out. So we're going to be doing all of that. I know you guys are excited to see Matt out here having some fun as well. Just happy to be here. Just so happy to be here. All right, let's kick this off. All right, guys, first stop of the show, you know I had to come to Zastava because obviously being the AK guy here at Classic Firearms, this had to be my number one stop. So I'm here with Ronco. How's it, Ronco? Hi, how are you? And thanks for stopping by. Absolutely, man. So you have some new things, some things that were promised a shot. They're out now. You want to go through uh, what we got on the wall here? Yes. Uh, this, this wall is uh, uh, features some of our Saracoded guns. Mm -hmm. uh, these two SKUs were introduced at SHOT Show right. and they're already on the market. So <clears throat> we're uh, well known if we promise something, we deliver. So these uh, these two SKUs are already uh, one of the best sellers. Mm -hmm. And uh, a new thing at this uh, show is uh, yeah, let's bring this ZPAP 92 rifle. So nice. it's pin and weld extension with the under folder. Mm -hmm. And we believe that this is, uh, is going to... Yeah, that looks real hot. I, yeah. I really like it. Uh, you know, that's one of the things that I think is really cool about uh, the AK platform is like the different configurations in it and being able to turn that 92 into a rifle. Yeah. I think it's really cool. You know, you've got the hinge dust cover and things and you've got this really awesome Cerco job on it. Yeah, um, and it's done by a, a, a company that's owned by a, a US veteran. Oh, cool. Uh, and uh, what we've done with them we promise that each company, Zastava and their company, will uh, will uh, donate portion of the of the profits to uh, U.S. veterans and also to some Serbian veteran groups. Hey, there you go, giving back to the community. That's yes. fantastic. I love it. Um, I think this is really uh, attractive finish here. So this is like a battle worn finish. You said this was one that was promised at shot. Yeah, this is battle worn uh, coat and battle worn uh, furniture set. So this really gives a feel. Uh, of this rifle being on the battlefield. And uh, our AKs are actually one of the most battlefield proven AKs uh, out there because uh, they were used by Yugoslav Army and then Zastava exports to 40 countries around the world. So these these rifles you can see in a lot of movies, a lot of front lines, and uh, there you go. Now we have it available here in the States. So that's one of the things, again, I just love about AKs because you, know, you look at almost all ARs and they're like, people try to keep them looking brand new. They get upset if there's a little scratch. AKs just look better the more wear they get on them. They're just a super attractive way to present the platform, I think. But uh, what we also think AR is a great platform. Oh, yeah. uh, we are AK company, but we really appreciate all the firearms. And we found out that a lot of AR owners also buy AK. They're not switching to AKs. Yeah. They're not getting rid of their ARs, but they have both because it's totally different experience shooting it. Oh, so. absolutely. Um, yeah, so the, these are some great options. I really like the, the way that they look. Do you have anything uh, maybe coming out uh, in development that you're looking at? Yeah, this is also, this was introduced at the SHOT Show, mm -hmm. and we are still getting a lot of emails, so this is a good chance now to tell, uh, tell the buyers uh, when uh, the underfolder is coming. Uh, okay. and it's going to come this year. We promise maybe end of the summer, uh, maybe fall, but uh, we are very, very confident this year this rifle will be will be on the market. That's fantastic. I know uh, you know underfolder stocks aren't my personal favorite, but they're certainly a very popular way because you can get that nice compact uh, you know package in there. And plus these uh, these Zasta underfolders, uh, they were produced probably 60 or 70 percent of the whole production of Zasta factory you know, during Yugoslavia were underfolders because they could be used in uh, different situations. Parachuters use them uh, in the vehicles. Tank crews uh, can use them. Anything you and really also on the out. front line, uh, you still can use this stock. So that's why the, uh, uh, when people see Zastavas, let's say, in the movies, yeah. they will see underfolders very often. That's why they want them, because they represent uh, uh, Zastava products that were uh, offered during Yugoslavia and uh, and even today. And it's a, it's a very distinctive look that's kind of unique to the AK, right? Because uh, 
you know, that, that underfolder stock, it's not, there's nothing else that looks like it. So I think, you know, a lot of people when they go to get an AK, they're like, hey, I want my AK to be like the epitome of AK, and this is just such a classic yeah. appearance, right? And what we offered, uh, and this is on the market, uh, this underfolder, uh, underfolding kit. Yep. So this will allow installation of uh, underfolding stock to your fixed stock Tronion. Yeah, I saw that, uh, some, some ads for that, and it was really exciting because I have a, a NPAP, and I thought about changing it over because I don't have an underfolder, uh, so I thought that was a really cool invention. Yeah, I, I mean, th this idea came, came out uh, because of the inflation, right? Mm -hmm. uh, people don't have a lot of money now uh, these days to buy uh, multiple rifles. So if you have a, a fixed stock ZPAP, you want to have an underfolder for like, let's say six months, yeah. you just buy this kit and then uh, no gunsmithing required. So just one bolt right. and then you have underfolder, then you can switch back to your uh, fixed stock. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, the, uh, the Zasava rifles have a very unique kind of rear trunnion where there's a bolt that goes through the stock. And so you just have to switch that to a shorter bolt as opposed to like the Tang design you see on some other AKs. But yeah, I mean, I think that was fantastic. It just kind of gives you more flexibility with your rifle, how you yes. want to set it up. So that's definitely fantastic. Ronco, anything else uh, you think you want to mention on? Uh... Uh, we just want to mention that we offer uh, AKs in three calibers. Okay. So 762 by 39, 556, and 308. So uh, other shot show two years ago, we announced uh, M M77. Yep. Uh, this I've already year, got one, yep. Yeah, this year we, we announced M77 with a, a, a M76 furniture. Okay. And uh, that's already on the market. It sells very well. Uh, and then we also have a bolt action rifles. Here we have a Black Arrow 50 yeah. caliber. So Zastava offers a variety of, uh, of calibers. So those of you who have been uh, following the channel for a while might remember we actually featured a Black Arrow rifle once. Uh, it's been a while, but that certainly uh, was something that was really cool to be able to do because it's a very uh, different design. You don't see something quite like that a lot. But uh, yeah, and I think 5.56 AKs are probably in the US one of the futures of the AK market. It's just getting more and more popular due to the restrictions on importing 7.62 by 39 ammo. So it's fantastic that y'all offer so many options in 5.56 because I think it really appeals to the American market. Yeah, and that tells you that uh, uh, Zastava factory being located uh and by the way, this year is 170 years of Zastava factory. So uh, Zastava factory remained in the same city of Kragujevac that's in Serbia, but the names of countries changed, right? So it was Kingdom of Yugoslavia, then it was Communist Yugoslavia, and uh, now it's Serbia. And uh, actually first was Serbia, then Kingdom, then Communist Yugoslavia, and today again Serbia. And uh, why Zastava offers 5.56 and 7.62 by 39? Because that was uh, also politics of uh, Yugoslav government. Yep. Uh, we were not in the uh, Eastern Bloc officially, uh, and we had very good ties with the United States. So that uh, reflects through even firearms, where we would be one of the first companies to offer uh, NATO uh, caliber uh, in, a, in a AK. So I, I kind of relate to you. Both markets. <laughs> I kind of relate to you a little bit on that. I have a Polish side of my family, and you could be from the same place in Poland and go through like five different countries over time. Yeah, you know, yeah. exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, that's fantastic, Ronko. I really appreciate you spending the time with me to go over these things. Super excited to be here and be talking to you today. So again, thanks and, so much, man. Thank you very much for uh, choosing Zastava to be your first stop at the NRA. Absolutely, that's, that's could, an honor. could not have gone anywhere else. We're over here now with Henry repeating arms, and brand new for Henry, they have brought out some revolvers which is pretty cool here and we've got Kyle with us today man just tell us a little bit about this and uh, personally I'm pretty excited about it <laughs> so this is a Henry H17 our big boy revolver offered in 357 this is a companion piece for our big boy line of rifles and does a good job of tying the blued steel and the brass that we right. see in the big boy line of rifles into a into a revolver. Right. And so this is chambered in 357 and 38 Special, correct? Yes. Yep. And you guys are offering it with these two style grips as well, right? Yep. So we have a bird's head and then the gunfighter type grip. Yeah. Both are available. We kind of do our best to tie the classic look in with all modern internals. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, they look fantastic. And this right here, too, are they six shots? Yep. Six shot. Yeah. 
So great. So six shot revolvers now coming from Henry, which is pretty exciting. And you guys also have um, some other new things that we can go take a look at as well, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, let's check them out. We're now over here with Thomas. We've got some brass guns that have the side gates, which is new for you guys as well, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, this was our first side gated gun. We released that a few years ago. And then essentially by popular demand, we had to transition the rest of the series to include the side gate. Right. And it's something, too, that I think a lot of people kind of look forward to because the tube load or the magazine tube load up here is easy enough to do. But just having that extra little way of loading the gun, it's simpler and it just it just works. It's it's a way to top the gun off without taking it out of action. Yeah. Um, and also we retain this style because some people do find it difficult to load through the side gate. Oh, really? It does okay. have a, a stiffer spring to make sure that everything is retained and it's right. timed right. So. Essentially, you have all options on the table for you. Right. Well, you guys will probably be seeing pretty soon some 30-30 uh, action uh, from me. And I can tell you right now that I see what you mean. It can be a little stiff. But once you kind of learn the tricks, like, hey, go ahead and use the pre like the next round to push the next round yeah. or the, the, the previous round in, things like that, it gets pretty easy. But it is a nice feature because it does, like you said, allow the top, top off the gun without having to take it out of action and then, you know, having to tighten down the tube back down and stuff like that. Funnily enough, I actually ran this gun at gun sight. It was pretty funny to just show up with a you know highly engraved gun like that and right. run it through the tactical lever gun course. But yeah. you know I learned that trick pretty quick with the, the topping off. Oh, absolutely! So I'm excited to start running that. Let us know down in the comment section. Are you guys excited to see a little bit more lever gun content on the channel coming soon? Thomas, thanks for your time, man. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Got it. All right, here we are at Sar booth. It used to be Sar USA, but it is Sar now. And I've got Eric over here. Eric, thanks for having us. Thank you. All right, man. Here it is. I've got. Oh, we've got some awesome products over here and I know you have the subcompact that just came out and now you have gen 2 yep can you tell us about it because we've got them in front of us yeah absolutely so our gen 1 uh, SAR 9 subcompact is a great gun for the size uh, it comes in uh, different capacities we have a 12, uh, 12 round magazine standard so 12 plus 1 we also have 10 round skews for all of our guns which is always worth uh, mentioning of oh, states that are restricted yep yep, yep. Uh, another great part about it is it'll actually take full-size SAR-9 magazines. So we'll also have 12-round magazines, but then we also do have inserts for our 17-round magazines and our 15-round magazines, so which will I, just give you... So if I grab this SAR magazine this from a full-size... Fits right in there. So Fantastic. even everything up to our 21-round stick magazines will go right in there. That's awesome. So, this is Gen 1. I see that. It's yep. very slim compared to your regular full size. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's just over an inch thick. So this one comes with fiber optic sights. Mm -hmm. um, it really catches the light. It's a really nice, nice setup there. Yeah, it's very, very slim. Like, looks really light. A great, great size for concealment. Yeah, I, I really, really like it. Yep. But now this is Gen 1 and you have Gen 2. Yep. So you want to tell us about that? Yep. So Gen 2 is this one right here. So we took the awesome reliability of Gen 1, created Gen 2. Gen 2 has the uh, slide cuts, makes it very easy to mani manipulate the slide. Oh, it runs faster And it too. looks cool, yeah. and it runs faster. Yeah. Um, night vision, night sight standard on all of these models. Okay. Comes optic cut, ready to go, and has an upgraded flat trigger. You know, so, what? You know the night vision sights being standard is awesome, because a lot of gun manufacturers just come out with just ra basic three white dot, which is good, it works, yep. awesome, but having that night vision so they don't have to go spend the extra money to put, because you know, a lot of police officers, a person, a, a former law enforcement myself, we were required to have night vision sights on our handguns, even on our off duty. So this is really fantastic. And you said it's cut for a dot yep. over here. What, what's the footprint? RMRS. RMRS? R -arm. RMS, yes. RMS shields, okay. That is awesome, and the capacity and everything is the same? Exactly the same, one. yep. So we got the upgraded trigger, I see that over here. Yep. We've got the night sights and cut for an optic and uh, really decked out slide. A DLC coated slide. DLC coated, what yep. is that? It's incredibly thin and incredibly hard. So it's a, it's a really nice coating to put on guns. That is really, really cool. I love it, I love it. And uh, the trigger on this one is definitely uh, a little bit of an upgrade compared to the yeah, Gen absolutely. 1. Yeah, absolutely. Not that Gen 1 is bad. Did a great job on it. Yeah. Yeah. It, yep. it really cool. Okay, so now that we're done with the subcompact, SOCOM. SOCOM. Over oh, over there, okay. SOCOM's right here. So again, built on the incredibly reliable SAR-9 platform. This one's going to come with a, a flared magwell. Again, optic cut, threaded barrel, and suppressor height night sights from Night Vision. 
Okay, so, so they're nice size. 117 round magazine and a 21 round magazine. Okay, and trigger compared to the upgraded flat trigger. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I know uh, uh, that SOCOM was, I don't know if it is still, but it was being used by Turkish Special Forces. And now that it's over here in a Gen 2 format, I know the Gen 1 was being used. So this is really cool. Definitely a handgun that has seen combat. I know that for a fact. Yeah. So pretty awesome. I love it. Can I check it out real quick? Yeah, absolutely. Right. You want to hold this for me? Sure. Come on, Eric. All right. Not too, <laughs> not too close, man. Well, that's what you were doing to me. <laughs> what? No. Just oh, good. So. Fantastic trigger. Yeah. It is definitely. Wow, nice reset. Hold on. So, trigger. Gonna get a little reset over here. Yeah, very short and very crisp. And now I'm gonna let it go. So here's a slack. Just a little slack. And that's it. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I love it. And the sights. Oh, yeah. Specialized sights, very, very easy to pick. Phenomenal. What, uh, the footprint, I'm assuming, is RMS Shield footprint as well. Guys, well, Eric, is there anything else you want to highlight? So we also do, we have our, our uh, Gen 3 SAR-9 as well. Oh, Gen 3 SAR-9. You want to yep. take a look at it? Yep. So again, built on our uh, SAR-9 platform. Again, it's very similar to the other ones, DLC coating. Uh, I mean, the colors are, are absolutely yeah. amazing. Again, night vision, night sights, um, and their optic cut, and again, the upgraded flat trigger. So Fantastic, yeah. fantastic, that's awesome. Okay. Yeah. Well, guys, check them out. SAR, used to be SAR USA. A lot of people know it as SAR USA, but it is SAR now. Short, sweet, nice. Yeah. And uh, Eric, thanks a lot for your time. Thank really appreciate it. You. Guys, we're over here Ava with Ava Flav in the house. Ava Flav? Yes. All right, this is what happens when all of us degenerates get together. <laughs> we've got Ava Flanell. There we go. And we've got our buddy Dave, 22 Plankster. And you know what's really funny is this is actually the first time in two shows I think I'm not talking to a cardboard cutout of you. I know it. I know. You usually uh, have that blooming card, especially at SHOT Show, because yes. hey, I try to stay away from SHOT Show. I, I'm, <laughs> I may or may not have taken that cardboard cutting home. You did not. What? I was wondering I where it went. I know it's awkward. I know it's weird. Anyway, we're over here at obviously, <laughs> obviously at NRA Annual Meet 2023. Um, we're at Franklin Armory's booth right now. That video will be coming here shortly. Hey, guess who just had a trigger come out? Yes, yeah, so I just dropped my trigger here. Just kidding. Oh, did I did I just spill the beans? No. Okay. Do it. All right. So I am releasing my 22 binary trigger for the Ruger 1022 here. They only brought 50 of them here, and within three hours, half of them are already gone. So if you want a binary trigger for the Ruger, oh, there it is, oh, right here. Bam! Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. All right. This is one of 50, so you better get here to the booth and get them. They are going quick. And Dude. I think this is where we also announced Ava's going to have her own trigger. Yeah. Oh. So I know every time I'm yeah. around Ava, I get triggered. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you just making that up or are you actually going to have something? Uh, <laughs> oh. oh, okay. No, All right, got no, it. They said, yeah, they, I just got the go. Yep. Oh, okay, look at that. Gosh. Well, guys, it's always good to see you. You guys are absolute friends. Right, and yeah, yeah, Ava. Wish, wish I could say the same. So. Let's get away from it. Anyway, <laughs> Dave and his binary trigger is where it's at. <laughs> All right, we're here at Leapers, and I've got Hans with us. Uh, Hans, how's it going, man? Uh, pretty good. How are you doing? Doing all right, man. This has been a great show so far. Uh, why don't you show us what you got here? You got some new products coming out? Yes, we definitely do. Uh, we are definitely excited to launch out this this uh, AK side folding stock. Okay. So it is... Uh, it has a programmable link of pull, so this button can extend this out. Okay. So you can set this as, as uh, any position that you want So for fast deployment, so we can compress this back in. I normally just like to have it right around uh, right around here, mm -hmm. you know, just, just slightly out, you know, from my longer arm, just to get a better acquisition, mm -hmm. and definitely folds here as well, too, and it, it does stop. So it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't swing out un until you deploy it yourself. It comes with a side swivel mount, and uh, yeah, these are. Uh, so I really like that because you know one thing that I have noticed that people who complain about the AK, even though it's the most perfect platform ever, <laughs> is that a lot of AKs have shorter stocks. They have the uh, the com block kind of yeah. size stocks. So this is great because you know you can either leave it short or you can extend it out for 
those of us in America who are a little bit bigger framed, uh, I'm not really that big of a guy, but you know, you're you're pretty tall yourself, right? Uh, so that's really cool. Uh, you got some extra features with the QD mounts, and then you were telling me that this mount is new. Yeah, we have a UAK. This is our UAK01. It is our side mount to the to the dovetail from the for you know most AKs that have these side dovetail. They they are universal fit, so uh, I know most of the AK side side mounts are not true to 100% of the spec. So when you deploy this, they have a spur gear on the bottom that can adjust to the clamp. You know, to adjust the clamp mm -hmm. to however. However wide it is or narrow it is, you should be able to fit that onto the onto the, the side mount. You see that little adjustment down there on the bottom? That's really cool because, like you said, like everybody's got slightly different specs. Mm -hmm. If it falls within their specs, right? Yes, so, like, uh, you know, if you get a, a Russian AK versus a Romanian AK, they're all a little bit different. So it's really cool that you've got that adjustment. You can have a one universal fit. Yes, yes, and then it does have also a. Uh, I also have the detent here to, to lock the lever as well, so okay. it'll, it'll sit pretty secure. So that's great, you know, a nice cutie, uh, cutie mount. Uh, I know that uh, y'all are very well known for optics. Uh, you know, you, is there any kind of optics y'all have that are specifically for 760 by 39 or? I would say that all of our optics will handle 760 by 39. Uh, we do have some new DOS sites that's coming out. Let me show you guys. All right, yeah. All right, so Hans, let's see some things you can put on that uh, optic mount. So we do have these new, we call them DS2521. This is a, a bigger version and we have a slightly smaller version. So if you can compare the size, this is uh, yeah, there's just maybe a like 25% smaller. And these are gonna, these are gonna have 30,000 hour battery life you know, on a medium setting. Mm -hmm. They are daytime brightness you know, that you get that on the maximum setting. And much like the, uh, the AK side mount that you saw, it also has a quick detach lever on here. And with the spur gear on the side, you also make the adjustment on the pic Picatinny rails. Yeah. So obviously, Picatinny rails we would normally think are much more standardized than mm -hmm. AK mounts, but you know sometimes you got a, a Weaver mount or something, it's going to be a little bit different spot. So yes. You know, still cool. You have that, that adjustment there. Yeah. Yes, sir. So yeah, the the spur gear will give you the the most precise adjustment to lock into your rifle. Awesome. Um, and then we have some other options here for magnified optics. Yes. So we this is. Our new, another new line that we're going to come out with is called the AccuShot Pro. So starting out with this one, you know, for all the air gun guys, you know, they love the Buckbuster. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be like a Buckbuster, but it's going to be 30 millimeter tube, and it's also going to have the locking, the locking turret, um, illumination, illumination from red and green. And just like the other Buckbuster, it has the parallax adjustment all the way down to five yards. And you said this is for air guns? It's not necessarily for air gun, it's just that our bug buster, one thing that we try to implement as much as possible is a short range focus. For air guns, you know, their distance normally shoots anywhere from five yards all the way to 50 yards. So a lot of these bigger scopes out there, their minimum adjustment parallax, uh, it only comes down to 25 yards, where our bug buster comes down to five yards. Ah, okay. So yeah, they, they should be able to see something really close range. So I think that uh, like, uh, the pre-charged pneumatic guns and stuff are something that we could really do more with. So I think that's actually really cool that uh, you make things with that kind of uh, market in mind. Uh, I really kind of think that pre-charged pneumatics are, are an interesting, obviously not not firearm, but an interesting segment of air gun markets that uh, would be really cool to do more with. Yes, yes, sir. I mean, uh, a lot of uh, a lot of our bugbuster do cater to the to the uh, to the air gun guy, mm -hmm. but it can also handle recoil of like a 760 by 51. Okay. So it depends on the application that you want. You want a small compact scope that can see close range. Mm -hmm. We got that. Awesome. Yeah, you know, and we also got some little longer range scope as well. Two an LVPO, a one to six, and also a three. I believe it's a three to sixteen or three to eighteen. Um, LVP, I mean, 3 to, 3 to 18 scope. Yeah, okay. So yeah, man, I mean, it's great to see you coming out with these new products. Obviously, I love to see the AK love coming out from anywhere. Um, but yeah, Hans, uh, I appreciate you taking the time, man. This was really cool to uh, get to meet you, man. Hey, thank you so much for taking the time to stop by. The last thing I wanted to, uh, mm -hmm. I forgot to point out that these okay. are all, also all first focal point. Okay, all first focal point. That's yeah. fantastic. Hey, well, Hans, I hope you have a great show, man. I appreciate it. You guys too. Thank you so much for stopping by. We're over here now with LWRCI. We've got Scott with us. And Scott, you guys did it. Everybody was asking for it. And what was it they were asking for? 
The A5 and 300 Blackout. It's That's, here. Yeah, dude, it, well, first of all, it looks great. Just give us the rundown on it. Yeah, so it's a 10 and a half inch barrel. Uh, ambidextrous controls, just like normal. Uh, the handguard is a little different because the gas block's different. Uh, shorter gas system, so it's got a butterfly switch located here on the handguard. But other than that, it's A5 ambidextrous controls. Everything's the same. Oh man, it's that's here. awesome. For those that maybe not know, and they're probably maybe newer to this or something like that, can you give us a rundown on the operating system, what it runs, stuff like that, and what your experience has been shooting with this so far? Yeah, so this is a uh, piston driven, so it's got a two position gas block for suppressed and unsuppressed settings. Um, it's been shooting great for us. Yeah. It's, it's been a tack driver. There you go. Oh, so, and for your, for your people that don't want an SBR, we've yeah. got it as a pistol. Yep, yeah. perfect. Well, that's awesome, man. I think it looks great. Let, guys, let us know down in the comment section below what do you think about finally the 10 and a half inch 300 blackout from LWRCI. Scott, thanks for taking the time, man. Awesome. It's always a pleasure with you guys. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. So before I exit the LWRCI booth, I noticed that they do have the LWRCI DI guns over here now that they're actually offering at a little bit more affordable price point. Exact same gun that you were getting before, same barrel, same upper and all, but you're not getting the ambi controls. That's going to bring you in, like I said, at a little bit more affordable price point. So if you're still wanting that LWRCI quality, the great feel of the gun, take a look here at the Discovery models that are, again, just a tad bit more affordable. Uh, here we are at Stag Arms, and I've got Ryan over here. Ryan, thanks for having us, man. I'm so excited that you guys are in the booth right now. Yes, I am too. What am I holding right now? What we, is this thing? We've got some crazy new toys. Okay. So these are our Project Spectrum guns. Uh, you are holding 50 Shades of FDE. Love I am. It. I am holding 50 Shades of OD. Yeah. And we've got the 50 Shades of Grey on the counter. Okay. So let's just go through these real quick. Everything on the rifle has been upgraded to the hilt. Okay. So as you can feel, right? Super light. Super light. Yeah. Just under six pounds for the rifle. Um, and then they're a mix of anodized and Cerakote on the guns. Okay. And everything on here. So we've got B5 furniture. We've got the new special edition Lancer mags. You have the FDE. I have the OD. Okay. Um, the, one of the coolest features, to make sure we don't flag anybody, All right. we have a chunk taken out of the safety, so everything on the gun is made for the shooter. Thanks. So when you go on Thank safe, you. right, it tucks right in behind your hand. Right. Um, special edition triggers in here. These are the AR Gold triggers mm -hmm. that are in there, super lightweight. Um, and then the newest one, I'll put this one down. Okay. So this is 50 Shades of Grey, introduced at the show, and if we have a 50 shades of gray gun, we got to do a little pop of red, red okay, right? Yeah, so yeah. we've got our red rise trigger in there. And then again, everything on the gun upgraded, rear and defense brakes, lightweight barrels. Um, these are all chambered in 223 wild. Okay. So which means you can run 556 or 223 out of the gun. That is so, awesome, Ryan, really. First thing I want to say, when I say thank you about the uh, selector yeah. for the safety. Yeah. I have always complained, because once you try to like, Put it in safe whatever yeah. it always hits your knuckle it's area your finger ridiculous right? it yeah so you guys actually solve that which is a very yep. easy fix too you just kind of like yep kind of cart it down a little bit and uh so fantastic thank and you and they're Stagars. fully configurable so okay. you can do 90 degrees you can, you can do move them around um and then you've got your ambi charging handle on there as well yep so that is awesome so the trigger i want to know about the trigger. yeah so these are, what triggers are, are So they're yours? AR Gold AR is the Gold name of the company. Okay. Um, so this trigger, just so everybody knows, like we did a black edition in this one, which they've never made. And then the gold edition here, those triggers, you'd see them on the shelf in a shop for anywhere from 300 to $350 just for the trigger. So wow. um, the rifles themselves have quite an amazing value that are packed I, I into them. I'm to try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quick. Here, yeah. let me hold the microphone Thank for you, sir. sir. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, first, I know we're in yep. but I'm just checking this. Give that, give that sucker a feel. Let me see this. Yep. Oh, here, we'll oh. get your reaction. Thank you, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. So, when I go fire, there you go. it's so good. Tuck in right yep. behind your hand. All right, so. Wow. Yeah. All right, so the trigger is so cool. What's the uh, weight on it? Yeah. So it's reset. About a pound and a half. So it's kind of got like a, you can feel where it starts to break and yeah. then it breaks. And then the reset is almost Nothing. not there. So you, you can really send it with these guns. No, thank you so much. No, yeah. awesome trigger. You know, it, awesome color, all, very light. Just yeah. overall, I mean, fantastic, fantastic rifle. Ryan. Thanks a lot a for pleasure. your time, man. Absolutely a pleasure. pleasure. One more thing. Oh. 
It's also available in Lefty. So we make Lefty versions of all the guns. So if so, you are a left-handed shooter, or you have an eye dominance problem, right? You, yeah. I've seen it on true, true. on Classic before, yeah. where you know you guys are going through stuff. You'll get a new shooter, yeah. and they'll pull up the gun, and they're starting to do yeah. this kind yeah. of stuff. So you need to try out a left-handed rifle. That is fantastic. Looks yeah. like Stag Arms just thought of everything. We Every got it all. Every problem's fixed. Thanks a lot, man. All right, guys. As I was leaving the Stag Arms booth, <laughs> I saw this thing, uh, Stag Arms Pursuit yep. bolt gun over here. And Ryan, just tell us a little bit about it, yeah. and we want to talk about what we just talked about. I'll, get, I'll give you guys a sneak peek. So we launched this at SHOT Show. It'll be available this year, probably about July, August. Um, again, everything on the gun, completely thought out for the shooter. Fully upgradable, left and right-handed models, but we'll just go through a quick teaser. Okay. All right, so three calibers, what you asked me about. Yep. So 308 which will be an 18 inch barrel. So think about right, right there. Um, 6.5 Creedmoor, 22 inch barrel, or 20 inch barrel, I'm sorry. And 6.5 PRC, which is the one you're looking in front of you, 22 inch. Um, everything on the gun, you got to feel the trigger, trigger oh, tech, yeah. trigger, uh, trigger tech primary, amazing. Um, you get a whole ton of upgrades. We'll just go through real quick. So you get a spigot mount, you get an M-lock attachment, and you get Arca Swiss in the box. Um, the most noticeable thing on the rifle that you should see is right back here. So pin. there's a takedown pin, yeah. something familiar from an AR company, yeah. right? Yeah. So you got an AR-10 takedown pin on the rifle. That will allow the rifle to come down smaller, but it also gives us the ability to give the shooter different platforms. So right. if you're going on a hunt on Tuesday, you want it to look like this, hybrid hunter. But if you're going to a PRS match the next week, you want it to be a side folder. So you're gonna see some different options come out in the future for furniture that is really cool yeah i was like wow what is this thing and immediately what came to my mind is our bolt gun series that's coming up yep we're gonna be partnering with multiple companies out there and i was like you know what ryan uh, we have a bolt gun series coming up <laughs> and i think this should be on there yeah what do you think i right. think it's gonna be awesome <laughs> so with that being said all right guys check out obviously stag yep. arms awesome products and also classic firearms because we've got an awesome awesome bolt gun series coming up it's going to be an amazing video and this is going to make it even better love it yeah love it awesome man thanks Thank all for you. your time yeah. really appreciate it yeah all right guys we're here with ati and of course being from south carolina i love these guys we're here with kevin today and he's going to run us through some of your really exciting new products for 2023 kevin what do you got there man uh, we're going to start off today this is our our moxie uh, you might know our moxie but we got a special one here it's the same polymer frame, 4140 steel slide, optics ready, Glock sights, pick rail, ambidextrous safety. But here's the catch. This is a 14 plus one capacity, double stack. So we're looking at uh, bringing this here to market here in late 2023. Okay. Awesome. So what is our next thing going to be? So what we have is we have the Alpha Max. This is the, uh, uh, it's a budget friendly AR, lightweight polymer frame receiver mm -hmm. but now we're going to be introducing the polymer rails so that seems kind of like a natural evolution of what you were doing with like the omni hybrids and stuff where we had the polymer receivers now we're just continuing that to uh, alleviating the weight getting lighter and lighter and that's that's exactly right um, lighter weight also lighter on your wallet um, so lighter for a few things uh, the fantastic thing about this is as we're getting better and better and better with polymer technology mm -hmm because it is a patented technology that we have, we are able to do more and more with it. And you love this, you know, very thin profile on the barrel. In fact, guys, I'm, I'm telling you, like, this is super light. Uh, if you were at all concerned about like, hey, ounces equal pounds, pounds equal pain, like this thing is phenomenally light. pounds. Yeah. All right, so, I mean, I'm really excited to see that coming out. Uh, what are we gonna hit on next, Kevin? Next, we have a side-by-side. -side. That's right, we're bringing back a road agent. Our road agent uh, for 2023, side-by-side, 12 gauge, 20 gauge. Um, we have our exposed hammers. People are hungry for the yesteryear, the nostalgia. I'm putting the classic in classic firearms right now. <laughs> classic is great. Um, so we wanted to go ahead and give people the option uh, because you know, sometimes going looking back is the way to look forward. There's a, there's a lot of guys in the, the gun industry who 
their collections are nostalgia, right? Like they like to see these kind of classic looking uh, old school firearms. It's not all about the new polymer and rails and lasers and lights. They, they like the, the steel and wood. I know that, uh, you know, there's a lot of people out there like that. But does it mean that we can't improve on a design? It's true. So we have the extended hammer, the exposed hammers. But if you look, there's this little switch here on the side. So if you get a close up of this, this will flip up like that. That's your safety. Notice the dual triggers. But if I push it down, focus on the hammers, it's also a decocker. Hey, that's actually a really useful feature to add to that. That actually adds a lot of, uh, of utility. And when you break the action open, it's going to cock your hammers for you. So we're looking at doing this in the shorter barrel and also the longer mm -hmm. in both the black or the polished uh, receivers. And this has a ejector, you said? Uh, this is going to be extractor. Okay, so this is just extractor. This is extractor. The ejector is what I'm going to show you next. Oh, okay, great. It is around the country. It's getting to be turkeys. Yep. What we have is we have the turkey fowl. This is built on our tried and true cavalry over under shotguns. Mm -hmm. Our cavalry lineup is known for the ejectors. It's known for being friendly on a wallet. Mm -hmm. Known for lightweight. We have a 22 inch barrel. It comes with extended chokes. It comes with two full chokes okay. extended. It comes with a one modified choke. Fiber optic bead. It is capped and drilled. So you can put on the Weaver rail, it's just the same rail that's compatible for the Mossberg 500. Okay. So you can go ahead and you can put your optics on there. It is ejectors. The great thing about a turkey gun with an over-under, if a turkey comes out at 40, 50 yards, mm -hmm. you're on one barrel. But what if that turkey comes out at five yards? You don't want to be too tight on your pattern and overshoot the turkey. Switch to the other barrel where you have your modified choke in there. Mm -hmm food on the table. There you go. Yeah. So again, you know, this is a, a very utilitarian kind of thing. You know, this is something you're going to see people use a lot to go hunting. Uh, you know, it's, it's definitely not just a range toy, right? Like this is an actual functional kind of uh, this, offering. Yeah. This, 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 is, this is design, uh, function over form, mm -hmm. but the form with the Bottomlands camo. Um, also, the stock is a little bit shorter. Mm -hmm. So when you're in that holler, you're in that tight spot, and you need your shoulder because we all know turkey's vision, yep. as little movement as possible, having that shorter stock is going to allow you to do so. Yeah, just kind of raise it up into the pocket real easy. Yeah, so that's fantastic. And I think up next is actually the most exciting thing that we talked about. So why don't we get that out? What we have here is the GSG-9. So uh, our friends over the pond, the German Sport Guns, mm -hmm. uh, they're working with us to bring this 9mm to market here in the U.S. Right. We're expecting this later in 2023. It is a blowback design, 9mm. Mm -hmm. As far as the mags, Glock mags, or Sig mags. I, you, can't, you can't get away from that versatility, that's fantastic. But the, the adapter is not in the firearm, it's actually on the mag. Mm -hmm. So the sleeves, you can take a Glock, double stack mag out, take a SIG P320 mag, slide it in. So you can go mag one to the other without no, without no change. So are those sleeves gonna be available separately as a standalone item? Still learning more details on that. Okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, this actually looks really cool. Obviously, I am a big fan of GSG. Uh, their Fireflies are a really cool, uh, you know, 22 little semi-automatic pistol. Uh, so this is actually probably the thing I'm most excited about. You know, obviously you can get a sling on here, you know, put a loop of single point sling and really push out against it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's just a really cool, you know, direct blowback action here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited to see what happens with this later this year. Well, stay tuned. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, Kevin, I definitely appreciate it. Obviously, you know, I, again, love you guys. You make stuff. You import stuff. There's a lot of different offerings. So really happy that you took time to talk to us today, man. Oh, absolutely. Thanks so much. We're over here now with Christensen Arms. We've got our good friend Jeff with us again. Dude, it's always good to see you. I I'm glad to hear that I'm a good friend. I was wondering about my status. I'm glad to know. <laughs> you're right. I'm you're a good friend it's status. not a moderate friend or a borderline <laughs> friend. I'm a good friend. I'm glad to know that. Yes, sir. Absolutely, Jeff. Well, hey, man. Uh, 
right here in front of us, we've got the modular hunting rifle. Is that right. correct? Yes, sir. And what we did, we kind of built on the popularity of the modern precision rifle. Yeah. The MPR is a chassis rifle, and it's it's dedicated mostly to long range precision shooting. It has a folding stock. We kind of built on that in a hunting platform. Yeah. And so we've essentially got a little aluminum mini chassis here yep. with interchangeability with hand guards. We've got a, you can go from a box magazine to a hinge four plate and back in about a minute. Oh, that's cool. So that's pretty cool. We've got four different options for pistol grips, a fairly 90 degree or a swept back, and a narrow and a wide in both of those. And then we've got a couple of options for a buttstock. This is kind of our ultra light configuration. And then we've got a hunting configuration over on the wall. So it's brand new. We released it a year ago and we're shooting it this year. Yeah. So it's been really, really popular. There's a lot of adjustability there. And like I said, it's very modular. So you can kind of custom tailor the gun to what you want to get out of the gun. Right. So new, newly designed receiver, different bolt design, different barrel treatment. It's the same barrel, right. just the carbon fiber finish is a little bit different. So whole new look for that gun. Man, well, it looks great. And do you know about what the weight is of this? Because I know it's like carbon, you know, carbon yeah. for furniture. And so all that. long range, long action, short action, we're going to bounce between just under seven to just over seven. Yeah. So Man. still pretty lightweight. We've got a lot lighter guns. This is not our lightweight premier model. Yeah. But there's sure a lot of cool things about it. So. Yeah. Man, well, well, it looks fantastic. And one thing, too, that we've got back on the wall over here that I wasn't too aware of was that you guys actually have um, uh, you know, AR 10s pretty much. We do. Yeah. We've got a lot of uh, 10s and 15s. We've got large frame and small frame. And a lot of people don't know we do that, but yeah. we actually do. In fact, that lower gun over there, that CA 556, uh, our, our five competitive shooters are running that gun, and it's been a really, really great little gun for them. So a lot of people aren't aware of that. We do do them, yeah. and they are in our dealers. If they don't have, if you don't see them in your dealer, yeah. they can order them from us. We'll build them and sell them. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. One more thing over here Jeff wanted to show me was this guy, and you just put it in my hands. I kind of wish we were recording so that way you could get my reaction live. <laughs> this thing is light. You said 5.1 pounds? 5.1 pounds and a short action center fire big game rifle. Yes, sir. We. Uh, the latest innovation in composite technology is flash forge technology. And what we do is we use an infrared heat source to, that changes the way we make carbon fiber into a component. Right. And so this stock looked exactly like last year's stock, right. except this stock is a full one pound lighter, 16 ounces lighter right. just in the stock. And you couple that with a titanium receiver, yeah. titanium brake and stuff, you've got probably one of the lightest weight rifles on the market right now. Wow. So, you, you picked it up, you see. Yeah, yeah, no, it is super light. I mean, this thing here. It feels it's, like a toy. Yeah, <laughs> but so, I mean, I'm just thinking too, you're spending a long day out in the woods doing your hunt, whatever it is, tracking and everything. Your rifle, if you're carrying this, isn't gonna be the reason you're fatigued. That's absolutely. <laughs> So. Ounces matter, you know, on some of the hunts, and that's probably not a rifle for everybody. Yeah. But if you're on a 10-day sheep hunt and, and your shot's going to come down to a 400-yard shot right. at a stone sheep, that's the rifle you want to have on your back for that week, for sure. Man, well, that is fantastic, Jeff. It looks great, also. And I get the fill. This just that's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's incredible. So another concern people have is, well, it's a lighter rifle. What about recoil? recoil right. This RFR brake is a brand new design for us. Yeah. And with that brake on there, it's very, very manageable. It's a pleasure to shoot. Yeah. We had them at SHOT Show, and as people would shoot the rifle, as they'd come away from the gun, their first remark was, I cannot believe how pleasant that was to shoot and how low recoil was. That's so. Yeah. As soon as, yeah, as soon as you said 5.1 pounds too, I was thinking like, oh man, that, yeah, that is going to be a... Uh, Probably a kick. Yeah, but again, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to try this out, man. So, Jeff, thanks again for taking the time. I'll, Absolutely. You know, reluctantly give that back to okay, you. Okay, we better keep it here for the rest of the show. <laughs> Even though we are good friends, we're not that good. <laughs> All right. I appreciate it, Jeff. Guys, check out Christensen Arms. All right, we just ran into Don Such, double O, over here at the NRA show. What's up, Great brother? You, man. How Absolutely. you doing? Yeah, finally, pleasure meeting you, by the way. Yeah, it is okay. a pleasure. It's been a while. I've seen you on video, but and obviously, and you've seen me on video. Uh, absolutely. First time in person. So, I'm curious. Uh, we just got here, like literally less than an hour ago. What are you excited about the NRA show 2023? Well, I just got here, too. I'm going to tell you, I just, I was at the Taurus booth okay. in Ross right here. Yeah, and it's amazing where they've come. I mean, because honestly, they were kind of like... You're you right. Know. And Way now, I just think it's great because it's the gun industry really revitalizing yeah. itself. And no, that, it happens all around. No, that is fantastic. Actually, we were just talking about interviewing the uh, Taurus. There's, and we really do well with Taurus. So, and now that I'm looking at, by the way, the camera doesn't see it, but I'm looking right at Taurus booth and 
they really have a much better booth this year than last year. Yeah. So they're they're definitely uh, up and up their game. But their quality sure. is going through the roof, yeah. and, and they're revising the the Rossi line and the Taurus. But mm -hmm. but anyway, yeah. I love what you guys do, man. Okay. Well, and thanks, man. Appreciate. I mean, just a lot of fun. You keep yeah. things going. Yeah. I don't want to hold you much, but that's all right. Are you going to be? Uh, I'm going gonna, somewhere specific? I'm going to be over at the Century Arms booth uh, okay. doing a meet and greet about 12. So, um, Century Arms booth. All right. 12 o'clock. Well, I'll probably see you there, man. <laughs> All Good right, to see you, man. Great yeah, to see you, care. too. All yeah. right, uh, here we are at the Taurus booth, and I've got Caleb over here. Caleb, thanks a lot for having us. Yeah, absolutely, man. Happy, right. to be, happy to be here. Awesome. So, you've got some really cool products over here. You want to... Uh, just dive right in them? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So this is the new TX22 Compact. We launched the TX22 a couple of years ago as a full size, added a competition model, and then people really wanted a smaller, more compact option. So that's what we did. This has a 13 round staggered column magazine. It is suppressor ready. We've got one that actually has a suppressor mounted to it. This uh, barrel thread protector comes off. There's a adapter that comes in the kit with it that you thread on so that you can actually run suppressed or run a compensator if you wanted to compensate a 22. And then of course, because it's 2023 and everything should have a red dot on it, yep. it's also red dot ready. The red dot actually threads directly into the slide. It's a direct mount, and okay. it's set up for either the Shield RMSC or the Hollow Sun K-Series footprint. And if you like that, it also has manual safety. Fantastic, okay. So, and what's the like barrel size and all that on this one? So it's about a three inch barrel. It's, you know, your shorter barrel. Obviously this is compact. Uh, I know some people are actually set up to carry these. You know, if you want like, if you want to carry a 22, this would be the one, right? Zero recoil, super easy to shoot fast. Yeah. And I think 13 rounds of 22 would be a bad day for somebody. Oh, I agree. And really a cool looking too. Like, oh, I, yeah. I love this whole slide cuts over here, which is obviously very efficient. It probably runs the gun much faster, yep. but also it looks cool, lighter. The gun runs super fast and the slide cuts are what allow it to work with such a wide variety of red dot sights. Yeah. That's that's correct. Okay. So you, what else you got? So the next thing that we have are our red dot ready revolvers. Let's go talk about those. All right, red dot ready revolvers. All right, so this is the new Toro series. So Toro stands for Taurus Optics Ready Option. We've used it on the G3 uh, and the GX4, our semi-autos, and we decided that we wanted to expand that line to our small frame revolvers, the 856 and the 605. And like I said about the TX22 Compact, it's 2023, everything should have a red dot on it, that's right? That's right, that's right. So what we did was we set up our two most popular revolvers. It's a either the 856, which is a six shot 38 special, or the 605, which is a five shot 357 Magnum. It comes in the box with a plate. The plate attaches directly to the frame of the revolver. And then from there you attach your small uh, your small frame optic, like again, Shield RMSC, Hollow Sun K-Series footprint, right? Okay. And that is, I mean, that's pretty much it. It's a three inch fighting revolver with a red dot on it. And one of the advantages is, is that because there's no slide going back and forth, the red dot's not gonna lose zero, it's not gonna get damaged yeah. or anything like that. And it gives you all the advantages that you get with a red dot, right? I can have both my eyes open, I can stay target focused. Because what's people's first complaint about small revolvers is they don't like the sights. Yeah. Problem solved. Yeah, now you've got a red dot. I've got a friend who's, a, a, a close friend who's in his 60s and he loves revolvers. Right. And he's like, you know what, dude, I can't see those sights anymore, man. I think I'm gonna have to get a semi-automatic gun because I wanna use a red dot. We have solved his problem Boom. right there with right the red dot here. ready with the Toro series. So again, That's these so are available cool. in either five shot 357s or six shot 38 specials, and you can get them either with this black finish or with a matte stainless finish. That's really cool. Nice and light. Oh yeah, absolutely. Really sturdy, and you got a red dot, man. Yeah. Like, I love this thing. What's not to like? Awesome. All right, what else you got? Caleb? So the last thing we've got is the new executive grade judge, which we can go talk about. Sure, let's do it. All right, so what are these big boys at? All right, so this is the new executive grade judge. Last year, we launched the executive grade series as a line extension. We started with the 856, a small frame. Everyone loves the executive grade. They love what it's about, and they're like, give us that, but on a bigger gun. So what the executive grade is, is we take these guns, these are built in a separate part of the factory, they're hand built by master gunsmiths, it has a hand tuned action which is one of the best double action trigger pulls I've ever messed with, it's got a really great single action trigger pull, and then this obviously has everything else you like about the Judge, right? You can load it with five rounds of 45 Colt, you can go four of those, a 410 shot shell, mix and match however you like, and it's got these really nice presentation grade wood grips and a brass rod front sight. 
which this to me is actually a really interesting piece, right? Because normally the judge comes with a fiber optic sight. People carry these out in the woods, they hunt with them, they use them as backup guns. If I'm in a tree stand and I bang my fiber optic sight on a piece of wood, it's gonna break. It's gonna break. I can bang this all day long and it's not gonna come apart. No, so really cool. You know, Caleb, you talked about the trigger and I immediately wanted to feel it. Because, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, you know, one of the first things people always when you grab a gun, a handgun, yeah, you want to try trigger. the trigger. Yeah, and guys, it is a really I good trigger. Sincerely I mean this. People. This must be the most crisp revolver trigger that I've personally felt. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. Wow. You've gotta try it, I know. It's oh, I gotta I gotta show Yeah, hold it up. There you yeah, go. There you go. Show the people. Yeah, so hold on, let me show it this way. All right, so it's there's not much to it. It's super crisp. I know the camera probably can't show it, but look at this. Just single action. I just press. There's nothing there. It's I, you know, listen. I could talk about this all day. They have to try it themselves. Absolutely. Yeah. Really cool, guys. Check out Taurus. They've got some awesome products over here. Caleb, thanks a lot for your time. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. All right, I'm here with Adam at Lantac, and I was just telling him I really like their muzzle brakes. I have one on one of my AKs, but uh, you can show us what you've got demonstrated here. Huh? Yeah, for sure. I mean, this is kind of how Lantac got started. If you know us, it's for our Lantac Dragon. Um, I'll tell you what, it's a little obnoxious. If you've never shot before, the name is very correct. It'll it'll shoot out a fireball, but man, does it, it it works. It'll really keep your gun nice and level and keep that recoil down. And what I like is, you know, we've, we've paired up with groups like Dead Air, Silencer Code, Gemtech, and soon, actually, AAC, and we make their suppressor mount with our Dragon. Awesome. So if, if you have a Dead Air can, you can throw it on our Dragon when you're shooting suppressed, take it off when you're shooting not suppressed, and you get the same function as you do with the suppressor on. So it becomes a, a, a host mount, basically. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And another product that's one of my favorites, honestly, is are enhanced BCGs. I'm gonna grab, this is a tin version. Uh, we have tin, nickel boron, and we have- That's a titanium nitride, in case you didn't know. That's my bad, you know. <laughs> it's not actually tin. That is correct, titanium <laughs> nitride. And this is a enhanced BCG. There's about seven patents on it, I believe. It's a little bit heavier. Mm -hmm. uh, it makes it so your gun rides a little bit slower. Your, your bolt will cycle slower. Uh, less friction, less heat. So you get less wear and tear. And the gas vents forward and away from the shooter. So when you're shooting suppressed, it's not it's not a fix for over gas guns, but it's definitely a band-aid. It helps alleviate some of that back pressure. Well, you know, you put enough band-aids on something, it can... Yeah, it, exactly, you know? But yeah, I love the titanium nitride finish. I don't really have much that has a titanium nitride, but it is super slick. It really helps with keeping it clean and cleaning it when it's uh, yeah. when you've been shooting. I mean, honestly, my favorite for, for keeping it clean is, is nickel boron. Mm -hmm. That's the way to go. It's the smoothest. Titanium nitride, in my experience, takes a little bit more time for break-in. So I've had some people, they, they shoot like 10 rounds and they're saying, oh, it's a little sticky. And that's kind of the word I get. So you got to break it in 100, 150 rounds. Once you break it in, then it's nice and smooth and you get the cool gold color. Yeah. All right. So uh, obviously you love the classic uh, mounts and it's great to hear that y'all innovate with those, you know, adding the suppressor ready features. And, you know, these sound like they'd be a uh a really good upgrade. So if you're looking for upgrades, this sounds like it'd be a fantastic way to upgrade the performance of your rifle. Well, I definitely appreciate you taking a couple minutes to talk with us today. Hope you'll have a great show, man. Thank you very much. We're over here now with CAA, and this guy is no stranger to the channel, the podcast, and everything else. Aaron, bro. Good to see you again, brother. Yeah, you as well, man. And uh, you've got something pretty exciting over here, some new stuff with CAA. Let's just roll into it. But before we do that, that's all I needed to say. All right, great. Let's go ahead and talk about it. <laughs> So go ahead and show us off what we got, man. So as we know, we have our Gen 1s, our Gen 2s, Gen 3s we spoke about previously. Um, right. We have the Agada we spoke about. Um, we also have the Apollo, which is our PCC rifles. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a little bit of an answer we have to the ATF. I know a lot of people have that question. Yeah. So we might as well just jump into that also. Right. Um, so you have several options. I know Mikey put out a video in reference to what you could do. You could comply, register your pistol. I'm not going to tell you what to do as a grown man, but you do what you have to do. Um, we have a 16-inch barrel. You could delete your stock altogether, a stabilizer. Or like I said, just go ahead and do the registration on it. Other option we have is what we call our TAC model. Yeah. All right? What the TAC model is, is going to be your MCK, exactly how we presented it before. But it's a deletion of the stocker stabilizer. Yep. And it's going to have your, um, your bungee, 
attachment, yep. and it's going to be similar to your push-pull technique exactly. with your MP5 that you have, yep. similar to that. So that's um, something new we have out here. A lot of people are getting into that and purchasing that for now until we know litigation and all that stuff, right. year and a half, two years, whatever it's going to be. So that's yeah, what we have I think on. at this point, too, let's go ahead and just throw in a plug here. Make sure you're supporting organizations like Gun Owners of America, Firearms Policy Coalition that are fighting for your rights. And also, I know it's hit, hitting a lot of different companies pretty hard, too. I mean, we're seeing the effects of it as well because, hey, all those guns we got in the video room, we got to strip those braces off, stuff like that to remain compliant and things like that. But it's cool to see you guys are already hopping on that innovation, already finding solutions for those of you out there that might be concerned about this. Bam, now all of a sudden you've got your micro conversion kit with the single point sling set up. And for those of you don't, that may not understand, what the push-pull method is if you don't have a brace or a stock on your firearm and you want to utilize a single point sling now all of a sudden you don't have to worry about registration NFA crap and stuff like that uh, but what this allows you to do is push against the sling while also pulling in and so it allows you to get a really stable platform and get those accurate shots off with your pistol or whatever else it might be so pretty cool setup man, yeah, man. Uh, did you want to see the Apollo yeah let's, 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 let's take a look at the Apollo yeah, yeah. all right so you got the Apollo in your hands tell us about it so the Apollo is our PCC it's going to be our standalone rifle. It's not going to be um, similar to the MCK where you put the pistol in. It's going to be standalone, like I said. Um, I know we spoke about it before. At the Gundys, you got a chance to shoot it. 9 mil we have currently. It's going to be a 10 mil and a 223 coming here soon. Um, got to thank Aimpoint for the T2 that we've mounted on top here. It's going to be three quarter inch Picatinny rail, like we stated before. Dress it up as you please. You have your collapsible stock. And it will be an NFA item. We should hopefully have this out here in the next eight months. We're still doing some engineering to it. Um, starting point, $8.99. We'll have the 10.5, and, and then we'll have the 16-inch barrel also, and the 10.5 with the suppressor. So we're looking forward to it, um, to be hitting the gun market here at CAA. So yeah. we're excited about it, brother. Dude, I like that Picatinny rail that runs the entire length of the gun itself. So if you wanted to have your iron sights and IR and magnifier and whatever the hell else you want to have on there, you've got plenty of rail space to do it. 100%. Cool. It's definitely a good looking rifle here. Uh, Mr. Harmon did a great job putting this thing together. So I'm excited to get out there. And get, yeah, get dude, it. and it shoots phenomenally well. <laughs> so I'm glad you had a chance to take it out too. Absolutely. And uh, do you guys have the Agadol laying around? We Could do. We just take a we quick do. look at that. Yeah, take a look at Agadol. Yeah, let's do it. Now here's this funky beast, man. I remember when you guys released this or you had like a prototype of it, I think at SHOT Show like, like uh, two years ago, I think right. it was. Right. And um, man, the way you explained it was like, hey, you get into a fighting stance, and this is how I kind of like to teach new shooters also, like, hey, a good stance is that basic fighting stance, so that way you can lean on that right leg, it's kind of like you're gonna throw a punch, and you're like, okay, cool, now hold this gun, and it's like, oh. Makes sense, 100% makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So yes, this is the Agada, means legend. Um, again, like we explained before, downward trigger pull, uh, safety select will be here. This is an adjustable um, front grip is what we'll have here. This is gonna be PCC also. It's gonna take uh, Glock mags, nine, tell, uh, 10, and a 223 option, three quarters Picatinny rail. So you can uh, dress it up as you please, similar to the Apollo like we spoke about. It will be a collapsible stock here yeah. and an adjustable um, chic well pad also. Yeah. So it's, it's different, but when it comes to the ergonomics of it, like right. we spoke about, it just makes sense. When you're holding something like this, totally different and I get it it's gonna yeah. take a second for people to put in their hands and right. feel it and understand what it's made for and why it's that way but once we get a shooting um, prototype here, it's, it's going to be pretty exciting. Dude, I can see this totally being in a sci-fi movie. I, oh, I mean, like, right now, if somebody from Hollywood isn't looking at this, like, oh, my God, yeah, we're shooting aliens with this. Oh, I, I don't know what's wrong with you guys. I mean, we're getting to that point soon, I think, so. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's awesome, man. Well, dude, thanks for showing off the new microconversion kit. Thank you for showing the Apollo man. and the Agadol. And I'll probably see you tonight. 100%, bro. Yeah, right, bro. yeah you Go. got it, man. Later. All right, here we are at the U.S. Armed Co. booth, and I've got Gerald over here. Gerald, thanks for having us. Good to see you, Kai. All right. Absolutely, great seeing you again. So, what do you have? What do you want to talk about here? Because you've got some really cool stuff. I know you've oh, got yeah. the uh, bolt gun over here, which we're going to talk about in a minute. And you've got these uh, cool AR-15 type rifles. Oh, yeah. You want to talk oh, yeah. about? Uh, our AR-15s. When you look at an AR-15, it's always got a, a little bit of slop in the upper and lower receiver. We utilize a patented system called Camlock. Okay. It locks the, the upper the upper receiver to the lower receiver. Just it what makes does that do? it inherently it what it does it brings everything back into alignment. Your bore, your bolt, your BCG, everything going that operates is back in line, and it makes it more accurate. Uh, from what we're seeing, if a, a really tuned out rifle like like this little SBR right here, I this one this particular one right here we haven't taken to range. I've shot it at about 100 yards and. 20 straight hits at 100 yards, free-handed, so, I mean, it is a shooter. Uh, 
our 20 inch gun right here we've made hits out to 1250 first round hits okay just the way it's set up right now and so you're saying obviously you've got some quality parts and you guys oh, are yeah. making all this stuff yourself oh yeah right uh, that definitely helps but you're saying that the cam lock system that patented to you guys mm -hmm. that increases that helps out that, with the that, accuracy. that what we're doing is we're taking a lot of the inherent tolerances and in AR system out of it. Uh, when you do that, it just makes everything shoot. It operates better. It you don't have to oil it as much. It, it just runs so much better. That's awesome. Yeah, when I first saw the U.S. Arms Co.'s rifles, uh, basically products, I was really impressed. Back like a year ago, I yeah. saw you guys first time. And at Class Firearms, we've done build series, we've done the AR series, and now we are doing something different. We're going to do a bolt count series, as you know, oh, yeah. and featuring U.S. Arms Co., one of the uh, manufacturers. You want to talk about the bolt gun? The the rifle that, that we're doing for, for you guys is it's, it's special. Uh, yeah. That that particular rifle is, is going to be feature our, all of our top of the line products. Super accurate platform, super smooth action, just and it's going to be awesome. You guys are going to love it. You guys are just going to love it. Yeah, we don't want to reveal too much. You're going to have to come out to Class Firearms and check them out yourself. Uh, what's the name of the rifle? It's the, called the Osreal. The Osreal. Okay, so. Um, it is one of the top of the line rifles. It is going to be fully decked out for a lucky person. Let's just say that. That's it. it it's going to be sad to see it go, but somebody's going to be happy. Yeah. All right, Gerald, besides rifles, awesome mm -hmm. rifles, you make your own firearm parts too. And mm -hmm. I see a break in your hand. What is that? This is our this is our M905 Talon muzzle brake. Right now it's been proofed out for uh, 223 5.56. Uh, a lot of people don't believe me, but we've had independent testing done on this thing, and it reduces felt recoil by 94%. 94%? 94%. Uh, for all you three-gun shooters out there that you want to stay on target and speed through, this is the way to go. I'm, I'm just telling you. It, it will reduce the muzzle flip exponentially. The only recoil that you feel is the reciprocation of the bolt going backwards. That's it. Wow. I, I run them on... All of my competition rigs, I run them. And one of the things that you can see at the inside of it, this is a cutaway model. It's made like a turbine fan. And what it does is it creates an area of low pressure and then high pressure and it escapes the gases much faster. And we start, unlike a lot of companies, we start with a smaller port in the beginning because it captures more gases. That's the, the first two ports is where most of the work happens. With this smaller port right here, essentially it's, it's getting 62% of the recoil out of it just on this first port. And then it, it goes down by percentages as it goes out. And we open them up to kind of aid that, aid the gas as it goes out because it slows down as it's going out. Uh, but And is this a patented design to you? This, this is patented by us. Uh, super cool design we're working we're actually proofing out one for uh 308 we have proofed one out for uh 50 bmg all right that's awesome man really appreciate it that yes, was sir. fantastic thanks for having us over here yeah, man. guys check out us arms co and check classic farms out for the bolt gun series that's coming out soon all right guys we're here with joey at pws and he's got some exciting things coming out we want to talk about uh joey why don't you kick it off man all right so uh hey welcome to the nra show and uh We've got our long stroke piston, uh, which uh, uh, runs like an AK, uh, so clean like an AK, but you get one of way accuracy uh, like an AR. Um, full lifetime warranty, so I'm the warranty manager, so you shoot your barrel out, you send it to me, I rebarrel it. Right. And then we just came out with uh, titanium 3D printed silencers. So we've got, uh, this is the 5.56 in the short configuration. Mm -hmm. um, it's hearing safe on an 11 inch barrel. Um, with the two extra modules, so I don't know if you guys so know that they're modular. That they're modular, okay, and uh, of course it's long threaded as well. All right. So the the blast chamber is the serialized part. Okay. So as the warranty manager, if something happens to the rest of it, mm -hmm. you send me the whole assembly. If I don't have to replace the blast chamber, then I can send it back to you with a one-week turnaround time. That's fantastic. Yeah. yeah. It's uh, they all come as a thread mount. 
this is a standard uh, three eighths. Or I'm sorry, uh, inch and three eighths, twenty four. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a, we we didn't reinvent the wheel. We made it industry standard. So if you have a customer that's got twelve chemos, he can screw in the female on this, and he can put that on all twelve of his his chemo rifles. Awesome. Um, they're all modular, so they come apart. You got a baffle stack. You got two extra baffles on the end. This one's really tight, of course, because we just got started. But you can shoot it in the the long or the short configuration. Mm -hmm. In the long configuration, on an 11 inch barrel, this was 131 at the shooter's left ear and a meter to the left. And those two numbers are usually not the same. Um, on the 300, 300 Win Max side, we made the BDE 762. Mm -hmm. um, Rated up to 300 wind mag, and in the full configuration, because the more internal volume, the better the sound. Sure, makes sense. On a on a six inch barrel bolt, uh, 300 blackout, it was 119 to the shooter's left ear. Six inches. So, a six inch barrel, yeah, uh, but 119. So like a 1022 action is like 115. Yeah. You know, so it was incredibly quiet. The 9 mm, uh, the BDE 9. Is also modular. You can shoot it in the short K configuration. It's about the length of a 365 slide. Mm -hmm. um, uh, they're all uh, hearing safe, and this is rated to 300 uh, 300 blackout. And then our little our little 22 can. It's the lightest 5.7 rated can on the market so far. It's 4.2 ounces. Mm -hmm. It's 450 bucks. It's all titanium, and this little nut on the end is the serialized part. Yeah, the, like the threaded part there. So that's the, that's the threaded part. Mm -hmm. um, it's rated for auto 5.7 and... Uh, You're saying that they're all auto rated? They're all auto all rated, auto -rated. Yeah, no yeah. auto all, no auto restriction. A double taper on the end, so it just screws back together. And we left the edges sharp so it acts as its own carbon cutter to okay. clean it. And what about barrel length? Any barrel length restrictions? No barrel length restrictions okay. at all. That's awesome. And I'm the warranty manager, so I'm the one who has to... So oh, it's a promise, folks. That's he, right. He said it. No restrictions. Call Joey. No restrictions. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, something happens to it as long as I don't have to replace the serialized part. One week turnaround time. And same thing with our guns, just full lifetime warranty. And um, I've had two barrels that came back just this last year that had fi almost 50,000 rounds through them. Wow. Two, two different agencies. I just sent them brand new uppers and, and uh, told them to get those to 50,000 rounds. So, so, of course, we do know you as a rifle company. It's fantastic right, to see right. you expanding out into other yeah, uh, so areas. So, a bunch of us, you know, there, there used to be an older silencer company in Idaho. and, and uh, a bunch of us didn't want to move to Massachusetts, so uh, we stayed in Idaho, and, and uh, the new owners at PWS bought us a 3D printer, and we put it to work. And awesome. 3D printed titanium. It's the craziest thing. It's like a laser TIG weld. It just blows my mind. But um, Anything new on the rifle world coming out? or So we've got our new full ambi control, um, which is like a double bolt catch. Mm -hmm. So you can lock the, the barrel back, and you can release it forward. All right, being left-handed, that is uh, not a. Uh, uh, well, you know, this is a cutaway. Cut cut yeah. uh, being um, left-handed, so, that's fantastic. Yeah. I love so, my So it controls. just basically it works the the bolt catch from both sides, mm -hmm. um, and, and being a lefty, you don't get. Uh, you know, you don't have to relearn the rifle. And yeah, we, we develop our own manual of arms to handle you things. You do, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so we just came out with those, and um, yeah, that's uh, that's what we got this year. And we got a ton of stuff in the works. The, the new you owners. Give us any hints? Um, I don't know what I can say. Okay. I, I got you. They sp so I spent enough time in the sales side. Mm -hmm. The engineers aren't allowed to talk to me because I can't keep my mouth shut. So um, we, we, won't, we, get, we won't tell anyone. Right. Yeah, we won't tell anyone. Um, but we've got a we've got a ton of stuff coming. Awesome. Uh, the PWS is under new ownership, mm -hmm. and um, we do all of our own barrels in house now. They're, we bought the three D printer. We're we're doing a bunch of internal stuff that. Uh, so that's about you know, really great for like rapid, uh, like rapid prototyping. Rapid prototyping, yeah. right, right. Um, we're shopping for another printer now. Um, but yeah, they're um, we're, we're really expanding our product line to not just uh, the you know the trusted loyal uh, piston guns that right. you know everybody has. But they're fantastic guns, though. I, I, mean, I know. Like, yeah. 
Um, well, so if you can't give us an idea what it might be that's coming out, can you give us an idea? Are y'all shooting for a specific time when you might announce something? There's going to be stuff this year. Okay, this yeah. year? Cool. Yeah, this year, um, yeah, we got some stuff coming All this right. year. So. so, guys, keep an ear out. Later this year, out. PWS. PWS, we're, uh, we're evolving. So, yeah. Evolve. Evolve. Yeah. Right. Hey. yeah. Well, That's all right. That's what we do. Joey, I really appreciate the all time, right, man. man. Thanks for Thanks talking to us. Thanks for stopping by. We're over here now at Daniel Defense. You guys know I'm, you know, not a, not a big fan or anything. <laughs> but we've got Chapman with us. Thanks for taking the time, bro. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, and what we've got in front of us, we've uh, we've seen the Daniel Defense Wave yep. silencer, yep. and now we've got the Sound Guard. New and improved. Yeah. So tell us about it. All right. So a few cool things about this whole design is a pass-through design. So it's a concentric baffle design with a ported end cap. That way, none of that gas is going to come back, beat your gun up. Uh, it's, it's not good for you. It's also really annoying just to have that gas spitting in your face all day. So I thought it was snake oil when they first told me about it, when the design engineer told me about it, until right. I went and shot it full auto, and I didn't have a single bit of gas in my face at all. It was pretty crazy. Full auto out of what? Out of a R3S, so an 11.5 gun. Okay. It was pretty pretty crazy. I, so. I, I was going to say, because I can tell you right now, so I, you know, full disclosure, I still have the Surefire RC2 sure. on, my, on my Mark 18. I and I, it. And, I <laughs> and hey, it works and it runs and everything, but I can tell you right now that I do get gases back, right? right. Like, uh, dude, I, I, I want to. I know Frank's standing right over there. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of like, okay, so that sounds really, really cool. I like the idea of those mm -hmm. gases being expressed at the end of the muzzle mm -hmm. or closer to the end cap of the actual silencer yep. and not coming back into the system because for one DI gun, such as the shorties, they're going to be dirty they're going to be gassy exactly. things like that and with that type of design you're already cutting it down which is pretty cool 100 percent. yeah so that was the main process behind this you know uh it's just to push all that forward so none of that's coming back so that's the the main thing is a little bit heavier than uh than a lot of the other ones for that so that's the main drawback we get besides that yeah besides it's, it's, a, it's a great can uh the main thing also is a universal adaption system. So yeah. we have, everything will come with your DD adapter, direct third adapter, that will unscrew, it's a HUB hub system. So once you're, uh, if you run a dead air chemo, if you run a Silencer Co. ASR, you yank your Yankee Hill machine mounts, you don't have to go buy new mounts for your DD gun, you just buy the adapter and you throw this in the suppressor and you can run whatever. So if you have eight guns that are set up to run DD uh, or dead air chemo, all you have to do is buy that adapter, you're good to go. Dude, that's that's pretty yeah. cool. So I like the versatility and the pretty much the exactly. modularity of that. So if you have multiple different setups, you've got let's say you got a 14.5 or 13.9 pinned in weld. Exactly. Now all of a sudden you don't have to buy a different silencer for oh, your gun. There's already 15 on the market, you yeah. know. So we didn't want to have to add one where this guy has to go switch all of his rifles. Yeah. So that along with the uh, price point, it's 750 for a hard hard use can. So we have a hard use can and uh, 556 and 30 cal. Yeah. And we have a titanium 30 cal as oh, well cool. uh, for a thousand. So really good price point for what you're getting. Also with that. You have the DD warranty, so no matter what happens with this, you know, unless you're putting a chainsaw to it, we're going to cover it every single time. That's that's really cool. And like you said, yeah, I noticed it was pretty heavy, but at the same time, I'm going to assume that this thing can take a beating, full exactly. auto rated. Yes. Yeah. If people are like, why don't you lighten it up? You want us to light it up? It's going to be louder. It's going to be less durable. You're going to get more gas. So that's why. That's the reason for it. Yeah. Oh man, well I'm I'm pretty excited to run one of these here soon. So thanks for taking the time with it, guys. Check out Daniel Defense, of course. Again, you know, you don't ever see my Mark 18 or Mark 12 on the channel ever. Never. Yeah, never. But Chapman, thanks for taking the time, course, man. man. Appreciate Anytime. you. Yes, sir. All right, here we are at the uh, TwitchCon booth, and I've got John over here. John, thanks for having us. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So, so you've got something cool. We all know and love the ACOG. Yeah, right. But that guy is a little tiny. You want to tell about that? It tell is. us about that. You know, to your point, everybody who knows the ACOG, or most everybody, you know, their mind immediately goes to the 4x32, because that was what was adopted by the Marine Corps, later the Army, most used combat optic in the world. But what we also have, you know, one of our best kept secrets is our line of compact ACOGs, you know, built still out of a forged housing, all the same great technology, but in a much smaller size, much lower magnification ranges. So for personal defense, anything inside of 100 yards or so, absolutely perfect. They started at a 1.5, so one and a half magnification by 16S, which, you know, that, that's your objective diameter, but going up to a three by 30. This happens to be one of our two by 20s, and this has our new nine millimeter RTR reticle. Okay, so calibrated to a 16 inch barrel, 115 grain metal case. It has a 50 yard zero on it, but then you have drops in 100 yards going all the way out to 300. 
So one of our new reticles, you know, one of the things that is unique too with most of the ACOGs, now the three and a half by 35, four by 32, we have LED versions, but these are completely battery free illumination with our fiber optic and tritium. So fiber optic needs ambient light to illuminate, but in complete darkness, you do have that tritium vial under there to give you a positive aiming point in complete darkness. So quick run through there of the compact ACOGs. No, uh, thanks a lot, John. Really, really cool. And this is the smallest ACOG model uh, optic that you guys offer? Yeah, well, actually the, the 1.5 by 16S, you know, it, it is our smallest guy. Okay. But, um, or actually oh, it's here. Yep, I got yep. it. So, oh, there you go. Th there's. There's so the 1.5 by 16s and then the 2 by 20, and and these are all available for consumers right now. Absolutely, they, okay. they are all available. They can pick them up here at the show if they're here. That is fantastic. And what what was the power on the uh, smallest guy? One and a half. One and a half. Yep. Wow, it's really really cool, guys. ACOG. I mean, we all as we just talked about the Marine Corps, the Army, yep. everybody knows and loves the ACOG and it is the most combat proven optic out there and now in different sizes for different calibers for yeah. everyday guy. Everyday guy. That That's is right. fantastic. Check out Trujicon guys. Awesome product. Thanks a lot John. Yep, really appreciate you. your time. Thank you. And that concludes our day one part one footage. Really excited for what we've seen thus far and of course we've got a lot more to come. I really have liked the Henry revolvers that are that are brand new. You guys got to see a little bit of Zastava. Yeah and I saw Zastava. Zastava. All right, Zastava. Yeah. I was really impressed with the uh, Stag Arms Pursuit, man. Mm, yes. Love that, yeah. Yep. Matt, what about you, man? I really like doing the PWS uh, silencers. Like, that was really cool. I'm expanding that. Yeah, the BDE? Yep. Yep, yep. How about that? Guys, stay tuned for our day one, part two footage coming at you very, very soon. And, of course, the rest of the weekend. God bless. See you in a bit.